Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Today we are back at it again at Krispy Kreme unboxing another Animal Crossing collector's box. They have put out two of these now and you just know I had to get my little hands on the next one. So yeah we are going to be unboxing that today. I can actually do an unboxing with a face cam now so that's very exciting. If you want to check out the first one that I did I will leave a link to that down in the description below and I'll also put like a little card thingy up here for you. So without further ado I guess let's just get into it. I don't really have that much else to say about it. I know I want to see what's in the box. I know you want to see what's in the box. So let's just go get the box. Eh. Eh. So the first Animal Crossing collector's box came in this really cute box that looked like the boxes from when you order stuff off of like the Nook shopping. It was really, really cute. And this one is in a very long, I don't know if I can even fit this in frame, very long and very like thin box. So I don't think the same type of box fits in this box. I don't know if it's even a cute box. I think the stuff is just thrown in here maybe. This is so hard to do. I need like an unboxing table or something. Okay, so I lied. It did come in a little cute box. I took it out of the plastic because it was really reflective and you just couldn't see, but it comes in this little cute box. Um, It has like a little pattern. It's got all of these little characters on it. We got Timmy, Tommy, KK Slider, Blathers, Isabel, and Tom Nook. And it shows what's inside. Little spoiler, sneaky peeky. Yeah, really cute. I mean, it, I think the last one was cuter because it mimicked like, um, the actual box from the game. This is more generic, but it's still really cute. I'll go ahead and open her up. You just pull, I think. Yeah, there we go. And ooh, I match. I totally match this box. I didn't even mean to. So we got a lot of cute looking stuff in here. So I think I'm gonna start off with the hat because we are little matchy matchy besties. So this is a cute little like baseball hat, baseball cap, and it has Tom Nook on it. I mean, I'm assuming that's Tom Nook because he looks very exhausted. So yeah, this is really cute. It has like the little tag. Nintendo stuff. Yeah, whatever. So my goal with these unboxings is kind of just to show you like what's up, you know, to show you the stuff in the box, tell you about the quality, how it feels. So just in case you're interested in buying this for yourself or buying this for someone else, you kind of have like a rough idea if it's worth it or not. If you're interested in that, if you don't want to be surprised or whatever. So, I, you know, I'll kind of like give them a little review. Again, this is just my personal review and I wasn't like paid to review this or anything. I bought this box with my own money. Um, yeah, so this is all my own opinion and stuff. But it is for you to evaluate whether you want to buy this or not. Maybe buy it for someone else as a little gifty. I don't know. But yeah, the hat is not bad. Like. I have nothing to complain about. It's a little squished like this because it was just kind of like shoved in the box, but that'll fix itself over time. It feels like a regular baseball cap. I don't know. I don't really wear hats that much. Um, it looks pretty cute. I like the color. Um, it almost matches my like sweater, but my sweater is a little more like light yellow. So you can see like a bright yellow and this is more on the mustard side, but still like pretty bright, you know? <laughs> so I guess I will try it on for you. I got to take off my little clippy. I will try it on for you. I do have hair pin or hair clips here, so it looks a little weird sticking out, but this is cute. I like it. I feel very yellow, like a banana. I don't really wear hats that much, like I said. I don't really like how I look in them. I feel like I'm wearing a matching set. So yeah, I don't really have anything to complain about with this hat, um, other than it messing up my hair a little bit. Yeah, I don't really have anything to complain about this. This is a nice little hat. I would give it a 10 out of 10. Good job, Tom Nook. <laughs> Okay, next, I am going to go with, I don't know, I guess this big boy here since he's right here for me to reach. <laughs> so this is a Timmy and Tommy drinking glass. Seems to be a pretty decent size judging by the box. And it seems like one side has Timmy and one side has Tommy on it, which is really cute. So I will go ahead and open it up. There is some styrofoam that you have to get through. So I will spare you any styrofoam noises because I hate styrofoam. <laughs> you know what? Work smarter, not harder. I'm going to open this from the bottom and then push it out. Oh my God. The styrofoam does not want to come out. I can't get this out. I broke some of the styrofoam off. No, my cats are going to go crazy over this. 
I have it like an inch out. Oh my god. I figured it out. It's because I'm squeezing the box as I shake it. If you just... Very lightly, then you actually get somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Don't squeeze the box. Cute. This is so cute. So it's like a long skinny glass. Uh, Timmy on one side, Tommy on the other. Feels nice. You know, this is like heavy duty glass. This is actually really heavy. This is so cute. This is so nice to have as like an Animal Crossing fan. Cups are so collectible. So I feel like this is really cute. It's a good addition to your kitchen, you know? I really like it. I mean, the idea, the execution. The execution's okay, actually. I can see two spots on Timmy where, like, the little graphic has some holes. I'll try to put it on camera, but I'm not sure if it'll be able to pick it up. Timmy has a little hole in his ear, which kind of sucks. Hopefully that doesn't mean that the design is going to start, like, chipping off because that would be very unfortunate. But, yeah, I mean, 10 out of 10 for this glass. Like, it's a glass, you know, like... You can't really mess it up that much. The print looks okay. It looks fine. It looks decent. So yeah, I like the glass. It's really cute. Okay, next, we still have quite a bit of stuff in here, even though like it doesn't look like it. There's stuff underneath of here. So I guess because I picked up the socks, let's go with the socks. Okay, so we have socks. I've seen a lot of Animal Crossing socks at like Target, um, Best Buy, places like that. So this is a design that I have not seen before. So that is already a plus, something new. I love new things. I'll go ahead and open them for you. I probably could use scissors, but where's the fun in that okay so these are like very long um they look like adult socks which is you know fine if you're an adult but if you have smaller feet i don't know how these would fit but as for the actual design if you can see it's like brown and like the animal crossing teal my camera probably doesn't pick it up properly but it's like the the new horizons like teal color that's everywhere and it just has little silhouettes of villagers and in between them there's also little silhouettes of like acorns and leaves which is like kind of like the theme of the decor of this whole box so i mean these kind of feel like typical socks they're not like super high quality or super thick but they're also not like super thin like how you would expect like dollar store socks to feel like i actually bought dollar store socks the other day and i put them on and you could just see my like toes right through them so they were very thin but these don't seem like they are that thin and yeah just kind of like typical socks the the top is like a little more thick this part because it's like the little edging i just personally wish they were a little bit smaller so that they would fit me because these feel like they're going to be really big and I personally don't like this style of sock. I don't really wear this type of sock. I only wear like shorter socks, so. But that's just a personal thing. I mean, it's still like a sock and it's fine. Again, you can't really like mess up a sock, so <laughs> they're fine by me. Next up in the box, um, I guess let's go for this little thingy that was peeking through the window. A very interesting looking contraption here. So this looks like a little speaker and I'm gonna be very surprised if it is. I did read what was in here, but like I don't remember what was in here because like I ordered this box, I pre ordered this box a long time ago, so I don't really remember each item. There's a cable on top. I think that does mean that it's a speaker. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, wait. What? It's like a little, oh my god, it's so hard to see, but it's like a little tea light. Hold on, okay. <laughs> this is getting more and more intriguing the more I open it. Okay, so there are little buttons on the front, like a power, skip, an M, like a Ford, I don't know, just like buttons you would find on like a radio or something like that. So I do think that this is a little speaker. Oh, how cute. Okay, how do I make it light up though? Because there, there's like a little candle thing in here. I guess I'll plug it in and see what it does. Okay, well, it's plugged into my computer. I don't really, it didn't do anything. So I guess like the power button maybe. Oh, <gasps> Bluetooth mode. Okay, interesting. Where's my phone? Let me see if I can connect it to my phone. Okay, so it's like a little Bluetooth speaker and it's got like a little candle in it. Like it's electric and it's so hard to see, but like, that's so cute. Okay, let me try to connect it to my phone. I don't know if it'll work. I mean, it has to. If it doesn't, I'm suing someone. <laughs> Connections. Bluetooth. Okay, so it came up on my phone as USB speaker light. <laughs> Interesting. Paired. Okay, it just said paired. <laughs> I think it's good. Okay, let's try to play some music. That was so easy. I didn't have to do anything. I just turned it on and then 
it was good to go. Let me play some music that I will not get copyright striked for. Where's YouTube? Okay, here. It's playing the ad. <laughs> Okay, so it works. Okay, I'm seeing what the buttons do. And I pressed like the skip one and I'm on YouTube right now and it skipped to the next video. So that's interesting. Okay, so I did unplug it from my computer. It does look like it needs to be charged a little bit, but yeah, this is so cute. Okay, so the few seconds that I listened to it, the audio sounded fine. Like, of course, it's not gonna be like amazing. It's just a little speaker, but it was like perfectly fine. And it has like the cute little light on the top. This is adorable and it's, I mean, well, it's vaguely Animal Crossing themed. It just has the little leaf, <laughs> but it's really cute. Oh no, it has a logo on the back too. Okay, I lied, but this is really cute. Um, I mean, this is probably what makes the box cost so much. This is an actual electronic device, but this is really cute for like the pool or to have just like in your living room or something like that. So yeah, I don't really have a Bluetooth speaker, so this will definitely get some use out of me. Okay, just a couple more things in the box, so let's get through these. I'm gonna go for this bad boy, oh, right here. So this is a silicone ice cube tray, which means, you know, it's a little floppy because it's made out of silicone, but I think that makes it easier to get the ice cubes out. And I'm trying to take off the the little like shirt it's wearing here. So the little shapes are like Animal Crossing things, so wait. This way? Yeah, this way. So we have like a little bell bag. We have the little acorn, the little leaf. There is a house, a tree, and a lighthouse. This is so cute. You could probably use this for jello. I don't know, maybe. Maybe you could use it for jello. I kind of want to try. But for ice cubes, that's so cute. And since it is soft, you can just like, you know, easier pop them out. So that is super cute. I'm gonna have to, uh, oh, there's already one of my hairs in it, nice. I'm gonna have to use this and report back to you on how the shapes look from this because I feel like that's gonna be so cute to have like a little bell bag shaped ice cube. Oh my God, so cute. Like there's a lot more practical stuff in this box, I feel like, so, you know, stuff that you can use that is Animal Crossing themed and cute, but like also has a function. So I feel like that's again, why this box is a little more pricey, but, I don't know, the stuff you got is really cute. Like, who else can say that they're gonna have like a tree-shaped ice cube? Like, not very many people. <laughs> okay, last two things in the box. Let's go with this because I already know. I already know what this is gonna be. Whoops. So we have another journal, yay, oh my god. I don't know what's with Nintendo, but they love releasing Animal Crossing journals. I think I have like three now or something like that. In the last collector's box, there was a journal. In the stationary bundle that they released at Target, there was a journal and now we have another journal. Like how many journals do we need? I have too many. So for me personally, this is the least interesting item in the box. I, it's, it's a journal like, so I mean, it is a hard cover which I don't think there's been a hardcover one yet. It's got the pretty generic New Horizons kind of like artwork on it. Just has a couple of the villagers. The inside is very interesting. Instead of like a typical limed journal, we have kind of like a more grid pattern. And instead of little dots, it is the little Animal Crossing leaves. And then it has an Animal Crossing logo in the background as well. So I guess this would be more for like bullet journaling or something like that. It's not just like a typical lined notebook. So I guess I have to take back a little bit of my complaining you know this is they're doing something at least a little bit different with the journal compared to the last one so i wish the artwork wasn't so generic i wish you know this kind of just looks like the the typical picture that you see for new horizons i wish they had come up with some maybe something original for the notebook i would have loved that you know feels nice quality nice hardcover so that's a change of pace for me personally so yeah not bad on the journal again uh my only personal gripe is that i'm seeing uh, so many journals being released by nintendo i feel like i have so many animal crossing journals um i just wish they would stop doing journals <laughs> and then our very last item in the box i am very excited for these look so cute we have some animal crossing silicone coasters so it looks like there is two coasters in here which is great love a good set and they are silicone just like the ice cube tray and i feel like again that's a little bit easier to clean so oh, they're a little floppy though <laughs> So these are so cute. It's the little leaf and the little acorn. Again, big theme in this box, the leaf and the acorn, which I don't blame them. That's very typical Animal Crossing stuff. So yeah, they're a little thin, not gonna lie. They're a little thin. Um, but yeah, I feel like they would do a fine job as coasters. This one is a nice size, but I feel like this one is too small. 
I mean, for the cup that we have, if you have a small cup like this, it's fine. But if you have something bigger, like a mug, that this is definitely not big enough for that. Definitely use this one instead. This one will be a lot better for a bigger cup. I feel like, why did they pick this for a coaster? Like, you couldn't have picked, like, an apple or something? Like, <laughs> that's very Animal Crossing as well. Or even just give us two of these. I, like, I wouldn't mind two of the leaves instead I, I i don't know like it's not bad this is still cute but i just feel like it's a very strange pick i don't know for a coaster so yeah all in all you know these i would give like an eight out of ten i feel like this one is really weird and they're a little like thin um and this one again is small but like they're fine they're coasters so that was everything i guess let's talk price value all of that stuff the previous box retailed for 30 dollars and this one is 50. So it is a $20 price jump, a little pricey. 50 is a lot of, you know, a lot of money, a big chunk of change to spend on some Animal Crossing merch. And I know not everyone is willing to spend that. So this is definitely going to be, you know, a different opinion from person to person. Is this box worth $50? So there are seven items in this box divided by the $50. That's about $7 per item and i think that's a really good deal i would pay seven dollars for a bluetooth speaker i would pay seven dollars for a timmy and tommy cup i would pay seven dollars for a set of little animal crossing coasters i would pay seven dollars for a pair of socks i would pay seven dollars for this little hat and i would pay seven dollars for the notebook and the ice cube trays i feel like i would pay more than that i feel like i would pay ten dollars fifteen for each of these items if they were sold individually so i feel like you are getting your value you are getting your money's worth i feel like this box is worth way more than 50 dollars if you're looking at all the items individually like think like what does a regular pair of socks like these cost at the store like what like 15 dollars like 12 dollars something ridiculous if you're getting something like cute and like nerdy like these like definitely what like this hat 20 bucks easily at target easily this cup also easily 20 dollars at target or something like that this bluetooth speaker easily 30 bucks like easily all of these things if they are being sold on their own individually easily that much money so i feel like it is a good deal when you think of the amount of items you're getting the variation of items you're getting you know like the uniqueness of the items that you're getting um stuff that we have not seen before these are not just notebooks and like you know a squishy or something like that we're, we're getting functional items we're getting stuff that is going to last a long time so i feel like if you're interested in this box if you are willing to spend the money or you have the money to spend or maybe you want to save up for it i feel like you're getting a good deal compared to the last one i feel like this one is much better i feel like with the you know higher price point they were able to make some better items they were able to make them a little bit of better quality um i didn't really see any like errors or anything i didn't see anything that was like messed up on any of these except for the glass that had one little speck in timmy's ear that is missing but again like i feel like these are all really good compared to the last box i like this one so much more I feel like I am more confident in saying that you should buy this one. And I'm really excited to make some little bell bag ice cubes. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. But that's just my opinion on the box. Of course, if you have a different opinion, that's totally fine. Feel free to let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear, you know, all your different perspectives. And again, if you have different opinions on this box and you feel like people should know it before they buy it, maybe you have a different experience than me. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Let's make this video you know just like a well-rounded review for anyone who wants to buy this box but yeah i had a ton of fun unboxing this i hope you had a great time with me if you liked this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you like animal crossing content i post a lot i usually don't do unboxings and stuff like that but i do a lot of let's plays and like villager hunts and stuff like that speed builds a lot of inspo around here so if you're into that definitely subscribe to the channel i would also really appreciate it if you could follow me on instagram and twitter and all my social medias they will be linked down below for you very convenient very easy all you have to do is click then click follow but yeah that's gonna be it for me today once again thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one